Yo, what's up guys, Lofton TCG here. I'm gonna start bringing you guys a little bit new content on this channel. I'm gonna start revamping it and get a little bit more interactive and what better way that, to do that than to actually give you guys an in-depth combo guide for Despia. Now I know there's the deck has been out for a while, people have found some ways to play it, but still to this day, I am finding different ways to resolve card effects and to get myself out of a pinch. So, uh, without further ado, let's just kind of get right into it. Alright guys, so what I like to do and what I did like to do when I started building Despia and getting into the deck, but more importantly, what I do like to do with almost any deck I play is I like to test how far can what I think the best hand that I could possibly draw will get me? And if that hand falls short, then it's not going to be able to function under any other any other circumstance. So let me just let me just play through this hand right now. Um, I I feel like this is the best opening four that you could ever open and pr proceed to play. Um, this fourth card is just a blank card, just for an example. It's just absolutely nothing. It could be anything. So you would start with the Aluber, and with your Aluber, you would search arguably the best card in the deck. Uh, you would search Branded Loss. You would activate Branded Loss, and then you would follow up with Branded Fusion. Now, like I said, the cross out's in here, and this is to protect against the only thing that can stop against Branded Fusion. So in this exact instance, if you drew what I fully believe the best opening four could be, you would follow up with the cross out designator to call Ash Blossom when they Ash Blossom on the Branded Loss. So you would end up banishing the Ash Blossom from the deck, and then resolving the Branded Fusion. And with that, you would obviously send your Tragedy and your Fallen of Albaz to the graveyard and we'll just move the graveyard right over here just for the sake's being um, and then with that you'll be searching your Lubellion. right here you'll be making Lubellion chain link one tragedy chain link two and then your branded loss chain link three your opponent will not be able to respond with anything here um, so no valor no infinite impermanence and your Lubellion, who is super 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 glary right now will be resolving so let's just move this Maybe, maybe over here. Thank you, thank you, camera. Um, so like I said, Brandon Laws is gonna be chain link three. So we're gonna go ahead, uh, and for cost, mandatory, you will be pitching the edge of chain off of the Rebellion. So off the loss, we're gonna search a Mercurier because the Mercurier is going to allow us to make sure our follow-up branded in red is going to resolve. So we're gonna do that. And then we're going to search the ad libitum off the tragedy because this is how you're going to be able to recycle the mirror jade. And then we're going to resolve the Lubellion to put it in the extra deck. And we're going to be putting back in the Fallen of Alves to make mirror jade. And we got to make sure we put our extra deck monsters over here because there is a slight glare. Um, separate chain link, we're going to be resolving Edge M chain to give us patchwork. We're going to resolve our patchwork to be searching another edge M chain, but more, more importantly, the polymerization. Now the polymerization doubles here because one, we're gonna obviously make another fusion monster, but in the graveyard um, is where it really shines. And we'll get into that here in a second. So right now we have five cards in hand and three on board, which is eight cards, which has essentially put us at a plus three, okay? Right now with this deck, I like to refer to it as a game of chess and we are attempting to checkmate our opponent. So. We're going to follow up with a uh, <laughs> Mirror Jade Effect. I'm getting ahead of myself. And we're going to send the Albion to banish the Aluber. So Albion will obviously trigger at the end phase, but before that we're going to activate Polymerization. And we are going to use the Ad Libitum and Mirror Jade to make... Now you have two options here, but the most practical going blind situation is going to be a uh, Drago Pastelia because that gives us an Omni, uh, a monster effect negate, a quick effect monster effect negate on our opponent's turn. Since we've just resolved a fusion summon, our opponent cannot respond with anything. Um, so we're going to be activating Ad Libitum as chain link one. It's going to be the only chain link to be special summoning back Mirror Jade. So we're going to proceed to our end phase and we're going to be attempting to resolve Albion's effect, which is going to be 
searching for and setting branded in red. So let's take a hand count here. Our opponent has used Ask Blossom, so they will be they have four cards in their hand and will be starting their turn with five cards. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. That puts us at a plus three on our opponent right now. They're gonna draw per turn. We're at a plus two. So with five cards in our opponent's hand, the first threatening single card that they are going to put on the board is what we're going to mirror jade away. So they summon a monster. The monster cannot have a chainable effect either uh, to the mirror jade, or you're not going to get uh, the most value out of this combo. Playing this deck, this is the exact play I always want to go for. This is every time I'm, I'm drawing my five, I'm thinking, how do I get to this point of the game state? This is what I want every game. Is it achievable every time? No, but how close can I get to it or how can I get to it? So we're gonna go ahead and just talk simply card advantage here. We're gonna activate Mirror Jade and non-card and banishing the opponent's monster. That is gonna put our opponent at uh, four cards left uh, in their entire hand if they haven't played a spell card like a Desires to draw anything yet. Uh, that's just gonna put them at four cards to our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, still. We're gonna continue play uh, here. When our opponent goes to put one to two monsters on board, it's most likely gonna be a two monster situation because if they put a monster on board and then they put another monster on board to use an effect, we're most likely gonna drag up the cell and negate the most threatening effect of those two if you didn't already negate the first effect. Um, so let's go ahead and use that for example. There are two monsters on board. I'm using drag up the cell effect to negate a threatening monster's effect. That means my opponent has two cards left in their hand and two monsters on board. So I'm going to, at this point, activate Branded in Red. So the importance of the Mercurier here was to make sure we can stop a monster effect from resolving or from breaking up our chain. This essentially puts it as Call by the Grave is the only card in, in a non-mirror match that can interrupt this play. Um, because this, you're not going to be able to DD Crow, uh, you can't go spell because you're under branded loss, and you have one monster effect that's live on the board because Drago Mastelia negated the other one. So if that other monster has an effect that can negate uh, the branded in red somehow, or, or banishing the ad libitum, which is going to be our target from the graveyard, we're going to have a tribal grave recurrier to stop that. So we're going to go ahead and resolve that. We're going to add back ad libitum to hand. And we are going to use the Mirror Jade on board, the Ad Libitum uh, in the hand, and the Edge Imp. If this is not, this, this is, remember, a blank card. This could be, a, if this is a monster, you probably want to use this instead. If it's like a, a, just a blank monster, it's something you could toss away. But if it's not, go ahead and get rid of the Edge Imp chain. That's perfectly fine. And we're going to summon uh, Chimera. So now we're going to build our chain links as our opponent can now no longer respond. It doesn't matter what they have, what they could have, they just can't respond no matter what. It doesn't matter. Guardian Chimera is always going to be chain link one. Uh, Ad Libitum is going to be chain link two. And then Branded Loss is going to be chain link three. So we're going to resolve Branded Loss here real quick. And your choices for this exact situation uh, would be Albaz or um albion in my opinion i'm going to take albion because i want to push to see two cards during my turn so i'm going to go for an extra draw on my turn um ad libitum is going to target the mirror jade to special summon that back and then guardian chimera is going to resolve so we have what's this mirror jade over here uh we're going to draw two doesn't matter what the two cards are and then we're going to pop a card our opponent control which means our opponent now, we're going to pop most likely the monster effect that we did not negate or the most threatening monster that they do have. If, if it's a tuner and you want to stop them from going in the house, something, just this is obviously very dependent on the, the specific matchup. And this example that I'm giving is best case scenario. So, Guardian Camaro is going to pop a card and we're going to check to see our, our opponent has three playable cards, or two playable cards on the hand and one monster on board. So that gives them three cards and we have one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the plus six combo that you want to go for every single time. Um, this is what you, this is what you want to, this is what you want to dream for. This is just the checkmate because there's no situation that your opponent can play out of this without super poly. And even if they do, that is going to be super, super, super difficult because now you have a live mirror jade. 
And what does that mean? Live Mirror Jade means we get to send another monster to the graveyard to banish another potential threat monster that your opponent controls. So if they did commit another monster to the board, which would put them from two cards in hand to one card in hand and two monsters on board, we're going to banish that monster on board that seemed threatening. And then we are going to be up yet another card on them. Um, not only that, but the Mercurier, if we did not have to use it earlier in the turn, we're going to have another monster effect negate. So we're just in a great position. And then this generally wraps up the game. There's almost no recovery from this because you're going to end up triggering uh, your other Albion's Material monster as well as an Albion to get another spell. So this is by far the best combo that you can do with this deck. So let's move on to maybe something that's not as widely known. All right, with this next combo, we want to focus on the draw phase because the importance of being able to dodge Drone and Lockbird it is pretty relevant, honestly. So I'm sure most of you know Branded Opening does play a role in Drone and Lockbird, and Branded Opening Tragedy is one of the best plays that you can make in this deck. So our turn one, we're going to want to be able to activate Opening uh, and then discard Tragedy. We're going to Special Allure. And then on separate chain links, we're going to activate a Luber, chain link one, try to do chain link two. We will be searching Ad Libitum off of the Tragedy and Branded Fusion off of the Luber. So with no other problem, like no interruptions, and we move on to main phase one, we're going to go, we have three blank cards. These could be anything for this exact combo, but it doesn't matter. Obviously, this combo could get better, um, but we're just focusing on this two card combo here. Because this is a little more unorthodox that I don't see people doing that I have found myself doing to help, you know, go, go further in tournaments. So we're just going to activate Branded Fusion. And we're going to be sending, obviously, the Albaz from the deck. And then we're going to send the Ad Libitum from our hand. And then we're going to Special Summon Lubelion. That's going to make Lubelion Chain Link 1 and then Ad Libitum Chain Link 2 because Ad Libitum does trigger from the hand, not from the deck. So we're going to discard just a random card, um, and then Ad Libitum is going to Special Summon Tragedy back, shuffle back in Albaz, shuffle back in Rebellion to make the Mirror Jade. So what this does for us is we're going to move on to the end phase. We don't, you know, the other two cards are hand, they're irrelevant for this exact situation. We're going to activate Mirror Jade's effect. We are going to send Albion to the graveyard over here. And then we're going to set the branded in red to the field. Banishing the Aluber, not the tragedy. So, the point of this combo is to remove two monsters from your opponent's field while still be able, while still being able to plus and profit off your tragedy and your ad libitum. So your opponent's making plays, they put two threatening monsters on board. Maybe you want to stop them from going into a house. You're going to brand it in red. Add the Ad Libitum back to the hand, and then use the two monsters on board as fusion materials instead of the two in hand, one on board, to make the Guardian Chimera. Guardian Chimera is going to be Chain Link 1, Ad Libitum is going to be Chain Link 2, and Tragedy is going to always be Chain Link 3 because it is the least important card, so if that is going to get stopped, if something in the, in the chain is going to get stopped, that's what you want to get stopped. Because all that's going to do is add you in a Luber. And is that the most important thing in this combo? No. Is making is getting a Luber back to your uh, back to your hand good? Yeah, obviously. But if I had to pick one of the three cards to not resolve, it would be tragedy. So obviously tragedy is the only thing they would be able to re respond to in the chain links here. And then Mirror Jade is going to summon. And then Guardian Chimera is going to resolve, but we're going to draw one card and pop two cards. And then we're going to be able to, when your opponent makes the next threatening play, activate Mirror Jade's effect to send another copy of Albion to the graveyard to non-targeting banish another monster your opponent controls. So this is more something that um, if your hand, you, you have to really decide how good your hand's going to be. Um, if I need to remove two monsters from the board, um, if my hand can deal with a little bit of swarming, like if I have better set cards, uh, maybe I even have super poly, maybe this isn't the way to go, but if it, your hand was kind of lackluster and you really, really, really are pressed on being, or having to remove three monsters on the board opposed to the regular two, this is the route that you want to go. All right, guys, I know you remember when I said something about this card right here, Brandon in High Spirits quite a while ago. Now, I actually think this card is amazing. 
Um, but the card is only amazing for a specific reason. And I'm going to show that to you guys here now. This is going to be the last combo that I do in this video because I don't want to sit here with a 40, 50, 60 minute video. I do plan to make a couple more of these, but let's just get started in, into this combo. So during the draw phase, we're going to activate Brandon and High Spirits. Now what Brandon and High Spirits says is I'm going to have to reveal the monster from my hand and then uh, send a monster from my extra deck to the graveyard that has the same type. Since Albion is a dragon and Fallen of Albaz is a dragon as well, I'm going to send Albion to the graveyard. Brandon and High Spirit also says that I can then discard the card I revealed from my hand to search a monster from my deck that is Fallen of Albaz or mentions Fallen of Albaz on it. So we've got these two in the graveyard here. What that's going to do is it's going to allow us to search Spring is Kit. So we're going to move on to our main phase. Spring is Kit reads if there is a monster on the field or the graveyard that lists Fallen of Albaz as material, I can special summon Kit from my hand. So that's where we start. We now special Kit because of Albion being in the graveyard. And we resolve Spring is Kit. So that's basically the combo for this because we have three unknowns we don't really know how well the other three are we're just playing unknown here so obviously if we just don't have brain infusion we're always going to reach for brain infusion and then uh kit's going to put a card from the hand on the bottom of the deck and we're going to resolve brain infusion and we're going to play like normal here so we're going to end up sending fallen of albaz and tragedy to the graveyard to make the lebellion Lubelio is going to be chain link one, and then tragedy is chain link two. We're going to pitch for cost. This leaves us one card in our hand. We don't know what it is. Um, so we're going to resolve the tragedy. And in most cases, you're going to want to search ad libitum, okay? Because again, you already have your Albion in the graveyard, so you're going to be able to resolve that very easily here. Um, and if you're feeling, if you're feeling a little frisky, you can also go a luber. Um, so you can actually get branded lost uh, so that you can be able to uh, just brand it in red successfully on your opponent's turn. But we just want to go with the most basic thing where we just, we don't know what the other cards in our hands are. So we're going to go with the ad libitum and then we're going to shuffle that back in, shuffle the albaz back in, and we're going to make the mirror jade. Now we have not normal summon this turn and that's okay. That is absolutely okay. So what this actually does because we have not, um, we because we have already sent Albion to the graveyard, our Brandon in red is gonna be set without using Mirror Jade's effect. So you can do one of two things. Number one, you can already go ahead and use Mirror Jade's effect to banish your kit. And by sending the uh, Glory Dragon to the graveyard, and then at the end phase, you're gonna want to go Glory Dragon first to search Mercurier, uh, Mercurier. and then you're gonna wanna search the Albion Branded and red, set it down. Um, what this is going to do is it's going to get you a hand trap and you're branded in red, and then you're going to be able to um, activate your branded in red during your opponent's turn. If you do, if your last card is not a monster, you're not going to be able to make Chimera without using the Mercurier. If it is just a monster, you're going to be able to make your your Chimera efficiently. So let's go ahead and just test for that exact scenario. There is another play line with this where you just simply don't send Glory Dragon and you keep your kit on board because then you're going to be able to set your Brandon in red anyway, activate Brandon in red, get back your tragedy, and then your tragedy uh, and your tragedy and your mirror jade and your ad libitum is going to make the chimera. There's also another step that I didn't mention because it also like again it just depends on what's in your hand. You can send Brandon opening to the graveyard with Albion the Shrouded Dragon to put Albion the Shrouded Dragon back into the deck. But that's not the highlight of the combo, so we didn't really need to talk about it. So going back to this, we're going to add the Mercurier to our hand, and we're gonna set the Branded in red to the field. So during your opponent's turn, obviously you're gonna wait till they make a play so you can be reactive a bit. And then you're going to go ahead and just activate your Brandon in red, grab back your tragedy. And for this example here, we're going to end up making our Chimera with these three because we love drawing cards. And we're just gonna resolve it just the same way we, use, we resolved everything else. 
as Chimera as chain link one, at Libitum as chain link two, and Tragedy as chain link three. And we're gonna grab the Aluber, and then we are going to special summon back the Mirror Jade. And then we are going to Chimera draw two, and we are gonna pop one monster. So, another thing with Brandon and High Spirits that people don't realize is it's not a game-breaking effect, but during the end phase, if a fusion monster was sent to the graveyard that turn, you may add it back to your hand. You can only use one Brandon and High Spirits effect per turn. So where that comes in handy is if you don't need to use that and it is in your hand and you discard it off of Lubelion, it'll most likely add itself to the hand because you're gonna Mirror Jade send an Albion to the graveyard anyway, which means you're gonna have discard fodder for like a branded opening and you're gonna branded open, like if you had branded opening and you're gonna branded opening out a Dramaturge from the deck because a Dramaturge also acts as an effect negation. So you're gonna get a free discard off the branded in High Spirits, love the glare. You're going to get a free discard off the Brandon and High Spirits. That's going to add itself back again at your next end phase. And you're just going to have an effect negate with the Dramaturge. So that's probably my three favorite combos that I, I see in the deck. And I'm definitely going to be making a couple more combo videos because there's a, there, there's a hell of a lot more to talk about. But I do not want to bore you guys with a 30-minute video. That is not my style. And I really hope you guys know that by now. So make sure you guys give me some feedback on this. What would you like to see changed other than the camera quality? Because I am aware of how piss poor it is. And like I said at the beginning of my channel, that's what I'm gonna rock with. Unedited, unedited videos that just show you guys what you need to see. Until next time guys, thank you.